Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and today I have got a potential video on a firewall sequel maybe but something to do with First Contact Entertainment's next generation virtual reality game and first let me just tell you how I came across this simply by going onto their official websites and looking at the open positions they have available one of them stood out to me a bit more than all the others. The others were kind of the usual suspects that you would expect to see on the First Contact Entertainment hiring page, but this one leapt out. As you can see, it is Mission Designer. So straight away, I was thinking, hold on a sec, Missions, First Contact Entertainment are kind of more known for the multiplayer games, especially with Firewall, obviously, and Solaris, with missions never really factoring in unless you consider the weekly uh, missions that would come with seasons which is potentially what they're talking about here i can't rule that out let's just go over the details i've highlighted some interesting parts or at least parts i thought were interesting but i'm still going to read it all out anyway so they want a mission designer first contact entertainment is looking for a talented motivated and experienced designer who is looking to create innovative gameplay systems fun over the top game modes which is something i've highlighted because just the word in there was a bit interest in over-the-top game modes and visceral endgame moments that kind of stood out to me if it was just a normal gameplay or you know m gameplay designer is that a correct uh, job title i'm not too sure maybe i'd be expecting them to be designing the visceral in-game moments when it comes to a multiplayer only title but the fact that a mission designer and they're looking for them to create visceral in-game moments maybe that suggests scripted in-game moments for an exciting new project so it's not for firewall zero hour and it's not for solaris this is for a new title so this is a unique opportunity to join a team of game industry experts tackling the challenges of creating innovative games which use software and hardware technologies in new ways of course virtual reality you're going to be using hardwares in technologies in new ways i'm not going to read too much of this part here because it's all kind of doesn't pertain to what i'm talking about here so i'm going to skip down to the next paragraph while years of experience are a definite plus positive creative energy and passion for building exceptional experiences is a must this is a rare opportunity to join a seasoned creatively driven team on an exciting next generation project so it's new it's next generation it's virtual reality, we'll get to that later. So that's all adding up, although this is all stuff we've already kind of known. So job responsibilities, work closely with designers and artists to build a compelling product roadmap, create, manage, and document high level designs for upcoming product features. This part here is interesting, participate in the development of the overall mission structure, which, you know, kind of interesting. I mean, would something like that apply to Firewall Zero Hour? What we have now, I don't think it would, especially, I'm just gonna read the next point because that's the big one. Work daily to improve the quality of our single player and multiplayer experiences through playtest feedback. Now, my mind's jumping to, you know, single player mission structures, stuff like this. It's kind of smells like campaign. However, Firewall Zero Hour did have technically a single player mode in the form of solo in which you could play the same multiplayer mode only you know you're by yourself basically and against the waves of bots now again it's entirely possible that's what that's referring to or it could be that it's not a firewall title it could be just a brand new ip and maybe that's single player or has single player in it anyway let's keep going review features and events and provide insights on balance structure engagement and strategy work with a pod of engineers producers and artists to execute those features promote a design ethos that puts the player first leading to engaging experiences with long-term engagement so that sounds like very online live service type speech write and manage gameplay scripts to provide player passives which i googled what a player passive is and I didn't really get any results that would match to this, so I don't really know what that means. Build unique player equipment, manage player inventory, track player stats, define gameplay rules, manage player progression, and more. So that sounds like a lot to do. Work daily to improve the quality of our projects through play sessions and feedback. Now, it does say projects, plural, so they might have a few buns in the ovens, if you know what I mean. Provided high level direction, own a feature or feature set from start to finish this includes fleshing out the design and then requesting all needed audio art animation vfx and code continue to iterate 
on the design and integrate these requested items as they come in. So we go up to the next part, which is qualifications. Here we get a little bit of interest information about the engine potentially. Qualifications, two plus years of relevant professional game design experience with at least one shipped title. And here's the interesting part here for us, Unreal 4 experience. Now the thing I wanted to say about that is, you might be thinking to yourself, oh, Unreal 4 again, that's a bit of a bummer because you know, Unreal 5 would be cool. But just keep in mind that Unreal 5, I don't think actually is out yet. Or if it's available to developers, it's only available very recently. So it's possible. The only way to have experience for Unreal 5 is to have experience for Unreal 4. So it could be that they're using Unreal 5, which would be cool because of, you know, that nanite technology and the lighting systems that they have in that, that would, could be very, very exciting for us. But whatever the case may be, it does look like Unreal is going to be the engine that we'll be seeing for the next First Contact Entertainment title. They're also looking for experience in these other things, which I don't really know what they are, sequence or whatever that is, some programming languages and whatnot. So they also want strong game design skills. Applicants must be able to intelligently discuss the strengths and weaknesses of recent games and be able to list techniques used to make fun first person shooter combat. So the reason I highlighted that is just, you know, they're specifically mentioning first person shooting. So, ability to pitch game design concepts in a clear, detailed manner through strong written and verbal skills, deadlines, communication, and positive attitude, etc. So the bonus skills are virtual reality and alternate reality experience, or augmented reality, sorry, and experience with live operated games. The rest then is just not too important to us, but if you put all these details together, a new title, next generation virtual reality hardware, because we got next gen, we got VR over here. Live, servicey, you know, kind of like Firewall was, where it kept having seasons and whatnot, so that kept the game going and to buy back passes and whatnot. The potential for missions, and not just shoot 16 doors or whatever, knock on 16 doors, actual missions possibly with story, although it didn't really mention anything to do with narrative here. But the potential for some kind of single player stuff, and they, they talked about, you know, they talked about fun over the top game modes, visceral in-game moments, they specifically mentioned single player, first person combat, and unreal. So if we put all these things together, we might be getting, you know, a bit of a picture as to what's coming next from First Contact Entertainment, and it sounds like it's a lot similar to what's come before from First Contact Entertainment, which is excellent as far as I'm concerned. My fingers are crossed that it is firewall related, although if it is a new IP, I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on that, and even if it's like, you know, I haven't been the biggest Solaris fan, but if they can improve it big time with new hardware, next generation Solaris could be something that's very exciting. So yeah, all of that, what I've just said, is just based on that job listing that you can see for yourself. I will put the link to that in the description below. I've looked at the other job listings and they all seem kind of very, not given away, any details. So I'm not sure how long that particular listing has been there. I don't recall seeing us the last time I was on the First Contact Entertainment website, but it has been a good while since I've been there. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about this information. Do you think it's Firewall? Do you think it's something else? What do you think about Unreal? Could it be Unreal 5? Would you be disappointed if it's Unreal 4 again? Is the mention of single player and missions, is that something we should be looking into a bit deeper? Or is this something that maybe I'm reading too much into? Could that be talking about a separate project that they're also working on? Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and thank you to Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. And of course, stay moist. Petrified pumpkin.